Hello and <laughs> welcome to the Chronicles of Yarnia, the podcast from Montclair's local yarn store, Yarnia. I'm Jen. <laughs> Amanda, Kathleen, and this is a podcast all about knitting and crocheting and fiber and yarn and all that fun stuff and making <laughs> things and lots of making, lots things. of making things. Yeah. Uh, and if you haven't been here before, welcome. Mm -hmm. And if you have been here before, welcome back. Welcome Thanks for back. coming back to see us again. Yes. I we always love reading our comments. I mean, we feel oh, like God, well, I love the comments. We we have gotten to know some people through classes and and totally. virtual knit night and things, and also even people who you know we just read their comments. Definitely oh, I totally feel that. Like, I was like, oh, hey, I remember it. <laughs> yeah. um, and of course, now I can't actually think of anybody's name, but <laughs> that's all right because I already, I've, today is a day I've, I've spaced on names. I was mm -hmm. driving my younger son to school, just right down here, actually, literally, this intersection. <laughs> and I was like, oh, hey, there's my friend. Hey. <sighs> um, and uh, Ollie goes, who is that? And I go, ah. Uh, her dog's you name, know her. Her the, dog's uh, name is Pippa. <laughs> right? And I was like, oh my god, I can't. She's my neighbor. She's a friend of mine. Oh. And I still, it's still oh, no. on the tip of my tongue. And I think it's just I haven't had enough coffee. Yeah. I yeah. think that like baby brain persists for like the rest of your life. Years. I well, that's, so. that's, I don't, I cannot, I can't. Well, also you have a lot of babies. So see, it's time seven. Baby brain. Right. I was like, it's just it's gone. Oh. Every time it's gonna come back, and then you're like, hey, baby. That's one good thing about Zoom conference calls. I have to say, is oh, if yeah. you forget somebody saying, you just hover over them. And yes. Their name yes. Shows up exactly. On the exactly. Yeah. Well, and yeah. I, so good. I've said that to my Sunday sweater class because I'm like, I mean, there are obviously people who have taken the class a number of times who I know, and I know very well, and I can be like, how is your mother? Like, I remember all yeah, of these you know, details. You know who they are. You just don't remember their and name. And I'm like. <laughs> Her dog's name is Pippa. Um, <laughs> can't think of her name. Uh, but thank God, I'm always like, oh, hey, Anne, how's Hello, it going? Yeah, I'm like, yeah. I mean, Anne, I remember your name. Um, <laughs> Most but I'm just terrible with names. And I routinely, yeah. I routinely say, I'm like, hey, I'm terrible with names. So yeah, it's, it's like, totally, it's nothing personal. And, and no, I do the same. I'm just an like, idiot. No, no, I no. think it's we, like. We just have brain gaps. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I think sure if we lived stuff. in a. If we lived in a town of 500 people that we saw like all the time, mm -hmm. but like I feel like this circle overlaps, other circles overlaps, oh, yeah, absolutely. other circles, and yeah. each one, 100%. like yeah. it's just we, we've got connection overload. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I went to overload. a very small college um, where like we really did know everybody, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. there were still people where I'm like, I can't remember her name, but we mm -hmm. call her Bird Girl. Cause she kind of has like a birdie look. Like, <laughs> absolute sweetheart. Um, do I remember her name? No. Mm -hmm. But she's bird girl. But if I'm like, hey, remember bird girl? And they're like, yeah, I remember bird girl. <laughs> she's a doll. You know? Uh. So I think it's just me. No, no, no. no. It's, it's everybody. And it, def okay. it definitely gets worse as time goes on. I mean, yeah. in, in the store, people are always surprised that I do remember their name, but yeah, you know, really good. I'm, I'm pretty good. I've, I've, I've worked at it. And I also have kind of a, a delicate way of, of figuring it out when, when I don't remember their it's name. It's hard when you're like, how do you spell your last name again? And they're like, S-M-I-T-H. I'm like, oh, I thought there was a Y in there. <laughs> no, I just don't remember your last name. So yeah. actually, one thing we did not say is um, what episode number it is. Um, I know. I because know. Sandy? Sandy? Yeah! I can't believe we've I don't it. write it in until the on the cheat sheet until Dumb we have guests. Luck. I can't <laughs> believe is, we've Well, wait, we did talk I about... I know, I can't believe I can't either. believe I've edited 70 episodes. More than that, because you More did with the special, special episodes and vlogmas. And scroll back down. After you watch this video, scroll oh, yeah. back down and take a look at um, the interview with Kara, a.k.a. January 1, yep, about temperature yep. blankets, because that was, was super fun. So yes. amazing. I enjoyed 
editing that so much. I enjoyed chatting with her so, so cool. much. It was such a great conversation. And yeah. I, she's so fun. I thought the thumbnails were so festive. I loved oh. seeing the blankets. They were great. Right? But it was so funny because you were you were hidden in the first one. That's but, fine. But that's why the second one we totally could see both I was of like, you. I'm behind it. I'm like, what else? <laughs> show the, show the way off. You see the blanket. Show off the blanket. Yeah. Exactly. Well, well, you you had to see the blanket. Those are just spectacular. They are. They're so such, cool. Such and boy, I'm I'm definitely I'm inspired to to think about doing. I love her I, approach to it. I really yeah. do. I love the, you know, almost calendar like thing, yes. and then altering the colors in the background. And actually, somebody who was commenting on one of those episodes was saying, you know, you could also just do it by season, which I yeah. think is another way. Totally. You know, split up the. I wonder if I could do a hooked on sunshine temperature blanket because we're doing the hooked on grannies as a like crochet along. Mm -hmm. By the way. We're going to do Hooked on Grannies as a crochet along. If they're each about 30 rows, and I just there you go. one row a day. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's a fun you idea. You totally do that. Is that already going on, or is that starting soon? It's going to start in May, because I think that's actually a Granny Square project. It's a great summer project, because they're yeah, very you're only portable. carrying one around at a they're time. Yeah, yeah. It's not like, you know, you don't necessarily want to do sweaters in the middle of summer. Yeah. But exactly. a little square when you can bring to the beach, you can bring it, stick it in your bag and carry it around wherever you go. Yeah. I it's love that. Travelable. Travelable. Mm -hmm. That's travel <laughs> I, guess, so, I guess portable is the actual word for that. <laughs> <laughs> portable. We'll just go with travel. But that's May. That's my May plan. That's going to oh, be super cool. fun. Well, so another, okay. another fun thing that would work for that is, um, and if you are following January 1 on Instagram now, if you haven't yet, we hope you are, um, she's been doing a thing with Comparing temperatures from oh, is it twenty twenty yeah. and this twenty and nineteen seventy right yeah. so and her birth year and her fifty year yeah I, so she's I January first nineteen seventy right she started imagine? a decade oh my yeah. goodness she what a good birthday a and she talks a lot about that in the the second episode and you can uh -huh. really see it's really cool it's yeah. really interesting and she's using um, garter for mm -hmm. that one. That's so that another thing I totally consider could see doing because oh, yeah. yeah, it's just you know you get a more more compact and yeah yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. nice That's little throw. Um, yeah. yeah, so now that was such a fun conversation. Mm -hmm. I really like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a good. I have two good times. more in the queue that I have to edit. So you'll probably see nice. videos with more frequency over yeah. the next month or so because I did record my um, let's call it languishing whips and make nine. All right. Good. <laughs> oh, very my, nice. My whips that you probably won't see in 2022. Um, <laughs> but I talk are, about are you, them. Are you going to frog some of them? Or? No, I'm totally not uh -huh. going to. Uh -huh. It's just like they're on. They're they're, they're laying in wait. They lying are. Away. They're not things lying. that I'm like want to work on right now. But mm -hmm. they're things I totally want to have, mm -hmm. and I'm interested in continuing them. Yeah. It's just. I honestly, I've got too much going on right now. I don't have the brain space. Yeah, like you got to prioritize. Yeah, I can't do it. Yeah, and it's so funny. I'm I'm kind of the opposite, like starting all the things and finishing nothing right now. Right, <laughs> which like, is not usually the way I am, but I, that's what I am right now. One me, phrase so. on that: lace weight silk shawl. Oh, beautiful! Oh, I remember that. Yeah, six hundred grams. Yeah, that is a lot. I don't have the brain space for that. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. that could be like a decade long project. Yeah. It could be. Yeah, it could be. It could be. Um, but anyway, yeah. Uh, yeah I so may, I still may do. I, I haven't. Uh, I, I've had all different things going on. I have not had the time to or the brain space to actually go through my whips um, because I've been casting on all new things. Right. But yeah. <laughs> like, too easily distracted by too, shiny new. Too busy casting things on to look at what has not been finished. But I yeah. may still do that, and I don't know if I'll do it as part of a make nine. But we'll see. But I definitely am going to frog one of my sweaters. You know, that was one yeah, of our recent yeah. questions was what kind of time lapse. But, oh, oh, you're going to do that as a time yeah. lapse? That's yeah. going to be fun. Yeah. Well, and I then have I've this... got my dad's seeming one. Yes. 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 Right. So, right. See, there's like, there's mm -hmm. going to be lots of special things. Well, and I have to, um, I have the setup for going over my sock things, which I know is dragging out forever. I'm sorry. I'm still working on the essay too, just because like I keep getting distracted by things like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. children <laughs> and Feeding them. Yes. <laughs> they keep wanting food. Getting food in Three the Three times a day. Yeah. More than that. What's up with that? I'm like, get some cereal. You have a I'm tired. middle school boy. I have a middle school. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm sort of He's such a teenager face. now. Oh, my goodness. He's that giant. That picture of him with the cat. 
Oh my god, was, he looks like a grown up. He totally looks like a grown up. <laughs> but I look and I see pictures of Max as like a little round headed baby. I mean, this kid had such a round head that he was Charlie Brown for his first Halloween. Because <laughs> he had to be, right? All there I had to no do was choice. throw him in a yellow shirt and I was like, Sharpie or zigzag. And that kid was Charlie no Brown. No question who he was. Big round head, bald. That's so funny. And now he's got like so much hair, but I'm like, the expressions on his face, exactly. Like some kids like mm. change and yeah, you're like, oh, yeah, yeah, I can no, see. You, totally, you can see the one year old in the. You can 100% see the ninja. one year old, and I look at the pictures of the one year old, and I was like, yeah, you're 13. Oh, does he need community service hours? He does. Um, he's, he's, cr- he's currently volunteering with the cat sanctuary, but he needs more, and uh, his friend needs more too. We, we should have had him Girl over Scouts over are looking for people to help, like, with the cookie delivery. <gasps> oh, cool. Like, really? Just. Here's what Moving the next the person ordered, get the order together, put it in their car. Here's what the next person ordered, and it's just like one or two days later this month. Oh my gosh, yes. Um, That's perfect. Cookies are coming. Abby is selling. Oh, so. yes. Yes. Coming. Guys, you should put the dates for the wool walk on your calendar, because... If you're local or local If you're local or, lo- or Jersey-esque. Jersey, um, Jersey-esque. Jersey-esque. Because... We will be having a Girl Scout cookie trunk show. Yeah, yeah exactly. Most people have yarn trunk shows. We have, we have Girl, Girl Scout, Scout cookie trunk shows. Because of Amanda's Girl Scout connection, yeah. we have yeah. the Girl Scout cookie trunk so show. So we can, we can hook you up. We we'll can hook you up. you up with the Girl Scout connection. <laughs> I, I was never a Girl Scout. I have no idea. I'm just, I'll just dance. So. Um, but yes, if he can't do the volunteer hours, uh, I... He has a his best friend has zero and oh, needs them. Yeah, yeah desperately. Definitely. And also, if it snows again, we'll definitely use them for that. Okay, that good. That would be yeah. yeah. I I would love to, and I'm sure Jeff would love to not. Come. If it snows no. again, when it snows when, again, no. fingers when. crossed. Fingers crossed. We have had it's February and Marches. It's very warm today. Yeah. It's very encouraging. It feels very spring like. The groundhog saw his shadow. Though. It's gonna get cold. I know, but I don't believe. And the New Jersey groundhog died like the day of the <laughs> groundhog day. Poor groundhog. You didn't hear that? No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like, He's like, no, apocalypse. 2022, <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> That's terrible. I know, poor he little definitely groundhog. didn't see a shadow. Either. No, exactly. No. Yeah. Or maybe yeah. he did, and it was just like... <laughs> <laughs> he was rehearsing, I don't know. Well, I have no love for groundhogs, because I have had to chase them away from my plants way too many, and we had yeah. a little family yeah. living under a porch, and I was like, I don't like those under little porches, bastards. <laughs> They're so cute. They're they so are cute. so cute. You know, it's we had so funny. Living so out by our back shed, and it was a mama, and uh-huh. yes, all the with little the babies coming by. Oh yeah, so cute. Yeah, they the ate craziest, my flowers. The craziest thing about groundhogs, though, when Gene used to work in northern New Jersey, he was like at the top of Bergen County. Mm-hmm. He'd drive home on the Garden State every day. And I don't know, one time we were either coming back from somewhere else near where he worked or whatever, and he's like, oh yeah, and look, there's one groundhog every mile. So with every mile marker, there would be a groundhog on the side of the road. <laughs> It was what? almost like they have territories, and I thought he was making it up. And he's like, "Look, there's another groundhog. Another mile. There's another groundhog." They would literally be they like sitting on have the, territories. They would be sitting on the side of the road that's every mile. Crazy. It is oh hilarious. So if you're ever so on the Garden State Parkway funny. in northern New Jersey specifically, yeah, I was going to say right, County, right by my folks. Which, which you take a look yeah. next time you're coming home from your folks' house. We always <laughs> see ha- if you can spot the, the oh, mile marker no. groundhogs. <laughs> groundhog. My mother was like, oh. they, they. We had groundhogs that ate like her entire garden, and are the reason oh she gosh. stopped gardening because Aww, those little so bastards <laughs> just and they're cute, <laughs> cute, <laughs> cute <laughs> little, cute. They're little, very cute. Do, 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 I had to save one from Gatsby. Not that he was he was a puppy, and he was just like, I found the print. I found the print. <laughs> I'm gonna play with it. <laughs> it wasn't even he was gonna play with it. He was just looking at it, and uh-huh. then it was like in the corner. So I had to like. If they home. show up in my house again, Gatsby's coming over, and he's <laughs> gonna be like, get them. Oh, he's useless. <laughs> he would just herd them. That's and fine. Like, uh-huh, uh-huh. As long as he scares them but away. Go, he did go scare them the away. Neighbors. No, I haven't seen them since Gatsby. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah they, they I did Gatsby is our the dog. He's the great yeah, Gatsby. They Used the kitty litter uh, at the entrance of their burrow really helped. Oh, yeah, I can imagine. Oh, used kitty litter. Used I think you said kitty used kitty litter. No, no. Used. No, no. Used yeah. kitty litter. Oh. But, yes. So, anyway. Obviously, also, we digress a lot. Oh, yeah. If you're there, there, you're probably well, we, we, we got a lot of comments on the fish last time, the whole fish discussion. <laughs> I know, right? Which I was like, thank you for, you know. Yeah, and actually, that, I, it discussion. totally makes sense. The um, the commenter who said the thing about, you know, the salinity and um, the water temperature affecting the taste. 
totally makes sense. Yeah. Totally, totally. Yeah. Well, that's why they so. said, like, what is it? Uh, you should only eat oysters in months ending in R. Mm-hmm. Oh. Well, most shellfish. That's I think yeah. that's supposed to be true for water. shellfish. Exactly. Oh. Yeah. yeah. That makes sense. Because they're bottom feeders and filter feeders. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Which is why I don't like them. <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> I don't think about that. That's one of those right. things. I put that out of my mind when I'm But they're Speaking great for the yarn. environment. Yarn. Yes, yarn. Speaking of yarn. Yes. Yarn. <laughs> uh, what are we wearing today? Oh, yay. Yes. Okay. Man, I, go. Go I pulled out an oldie but a goodie. I know. I love this one. This yeah. is my comfort fade cardi. And Squish Decay by Spun Right Round. Love yeah. Spun Right Round. Yeah. We were just talking about them. Mm-hmm. Oh, and so this one, I yes. can't you just you leave well enough alone with no. this sweater. Every time I do it. It's a palette, basically. It is. Because the whole back is sto- uh, reverse stockinette. Mm-hmm. So that means it's perfect to put a cable on. Yes, Maybe. yes. So can you see so my you can see her cable. Yay. Isn't it pretty? And the gorgeous. fade looks so gorgeous. I'm looking at this it, Yeah, it yeah. works so well. Oh. So Love this it. is one of the best fades I've ever seen. I don't know. If Absolutely. It all and over. it's such a wearable one. It's a and nice I, I think we still have all those colors. I think we've I always we've got, order these every time. Yeah. I, I mean, we've got a pretty good you stock. You can't though. beat that like gray to grayish mm-hmm. like oh, so, all those so lovely beautiful. neutrals. So the cable on the back is Nora Gon's Nightingale. Mhm. So which pretty. was a sweater on the front of Pom Pom when mm-hmm. she was the guest editor for Pom Pom. Mhm. Um, and I love that sweater. I had no desire to knit that cable twice because it's on both the front and the back of the sweater. Oh god, and no, it has like big leg and mutton sleeves and everything. I mean, it was definitely a very it's sort a of style. specific it's design. A it's beautiful. beautiful, but it would have it's... taken me longer than my mom's sweater. <laughs> so I said, you know what I'm going to do? And it's knit bottom up. So I just took that chart, looked it over, yep. knit it top down on the back of Andrea Mallory's Comfort Fig Party. Yay. So yeah, I love this one. It's it, so pretty. I, I saw this fade when we were at the very last TNNA. The last TNNA. Yeah. But that's where we saw the spun, that's where we picked up Spun Right Round. Yeah. Um, and they had these stunning. colors as a sample and I'm like, I am it's perfect. They had this fade. fade and we were all, we were both like, take a picture. I know. <laughs> we're like, we want this one. I want this exact one. Yeah. yeah. So I love it. This Squish DK is amazingly soft. And actually so that's, that's what and my, that's what, yeah. my item is as well. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, so what do you wear? So I am wearing um, Whispering Willow by Sasha Green. Oh, Sasha. You're on, a team, you're on a team member. And I was kind of inspired because I'm making another shawl by her right now. So that oh. was what made me think to wear this. But yeah, this is Squish DK in Big Teal Wave and... Big Teal Wave. That's... Actually, I wonder... This one. No, it's not. No. I wonder if I did. I have to look is back to my project. Notes. It may be Tosh DK on top. It may be one say, of the optics. Optic? It, yeah. 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 I think that's Tosh DK. I don't think it's smokestack optic. Anyway, we'll uh, need to maybe. look at my. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that, I feel like that's got a lighter background with. I don't yeah. Know. But anyway, smokestack optic. That's like definitely lightish. that's definitely a big teal wave. Isn't Tosh that teal wave? Well, both of those, both the Tosh DK and spun right round, are like. I'm not uh, like, like knitting with non super wash mm-hmm, like mm-hmm. a lot, mm-hmm. um, but every time, so I have like this mental bias like I'm not gonna knit with super wash, but then I knit with these, and you're like either oh. Tosh DK or spun right round squish DK, and I'm like oh my goodness I really love this yeah. sweater and I love this, sure. and it plumps up nicely too. It does. I have mm. to say the um, spun right round DK, the Tosh DK, and the knitted wit DK mm-hmm. all play so they nicely, play together. nicely together. Yeah, like, exactly. Like those are three yarn lines that work like if you're looking for a fade or mm-hmm. something like this like or I did um Brio Duo, yeah. Brio Duo. I did mm-hmm. um my color work sweater um the the pink one it's um knitted with DK for the body right. and then the color work is the spun right around yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. works yeah. beautifully Definitely. But you should also talk about how you styled your Yes, your, I did. Well, and also, <clears throat> one other note about this. Um, I was I was taking Seisha's, um, I don't know, Brioche 3 class or something, mm-hmm. making the Willow Moon cowl, and that was when I realized I'm really not a cowl wearer. It's like the cowls that I've made, and I have, I made some, and I love them. I love them when I'm making them. I love them when I finish them. I never reach for them. They're no. just, it's just not my thing. You yeah. Know? yeah. But a big sweater or a straw I do wear. So I said to Seisha, what, what would you think if I just tried this um, fingering pattern, which she had just come out with at that time in DK? And she said, go for it. <laughs> oh, so yeah, I did. yeah. Just so, makes it bigger and squishier. Exactly, exactly. So, And I think I didn't quite finish the entire pattern, but it's so much bigger. It's kind of right, you know, right, twice. Right. The proportion is twice as big because um, it was originally done in fingering, and this is DK. 
but it's so squashy. Yeah, so it's really fun and squashy, and it's huge. And I have a jewel cuff holding it together on That's my shoulder here. Jewel, J U L. Mm hmm. Um, but they're on, our, they're on our website. We yeah. do, um, we've got, you know, a nice number still in stock. And, yeah, and I love their buttons, out. too. Yeah. Yeah. I have a shawl wrap, the, the skinnier one that wraps twice. Yes. Mm -hmm. I love that. Mm -hmm. I have one of those, too, in, like, a metallic mm -hmm. silver. It just keeps it in place. Yeah. No slippy slideys. It so you can, like, something that bugs you, too. Yeah. You style it the way you want it. You wrap the cuff around, mm -hmm. and then you can, like, literally, like, and it snaps. take it off. And yeah, then, exactly, yeah. exactly. And I certainly have done that here at the store. It's like I yeah. come in, I'm wearing whatever, I start running around doing things. I'm like, I, I drop this in the office, and then You're later when it calms it. down, <laughs> later yeah. when it calms down, I uh, I put it back on, and it's just ready to go again. Yeah, it's quite nice. It makes yeah. it so much easier. Yeah, also easier to store sometimes. I am wearing a yeah. my throwback from the fall sweater class, um, and this is in. What is wrong with me today? I lucky mean, her, tweet. Do her dog's name's Pippa. Um, <laughs> Kelborn Woolen's Lucky Tweet. Thank yes, you. Yes, yes. I wore mine yesterday. Oh my god, I'm losing my mind. <laughs> losing my mind. I forgot to put on my jewelry this morning. I mean, I remember to put on my necklace, and then I was like, shiny thing, done. Forgot to put my rings back on. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'm just losing it. Losing okay. it. Okay, it's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. It's Not enough coffee. Not enough coffee. I don't <laughs> have enough coffee enough. either. Yeah. Um, this yeah, is almost I, empty. Yeah. Uh, I have worn mm -hmm. this like at least once a week, sometimes twice a week. Yep. Um, well, that's how so it is with lucky tweet. Yeah, it totally. Becomes totally. Your, it becomes my go-to. It does. Right. Mm -hmm. And yeah. it's you that's know what my Felix is. It's my yeah. favorite sweatshirt. Mm -hmm. Oh, Felix is going to come back because I'm. I've got, I've got a Felix. In the works. Thinking Yay. about it. Yeah. Yes. So options. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I love this sweater. It came out great. Super happy, love the steaking. Um, just like what two weeks ago, I think Anne mm -hmm. had that time, came by and um, did her steak, which was so fun. Oh, and huh. she was like, ah! and I'm like, cut it, you cut can it, do it, you can do it, <laughs> do it, <laughs> yay! <laughs> but it's looking great. And a new so. cardigan is born. And a new cardigan yeah. is born. Well, and the nice thing is, is that uh, in the current sweater class, which is the cabled sweater class, um, a couple of people are going to be sticking theirs to make a cardigan. Oh, cool. That's so cool. Good idea. Which is yeah. easy to adapt. So, totally. yeah. like, love it. I was like, great. And it's two of the people who were in the steak class. So, uh -huh. like, they, so yeah, they well, the once, you, once you steak something, you want to steak everything then. You're like, you really what, else what else can, can I cut? Steak? What else can I do? I'm going to cut it all. Oh, and then, Gene's yeah. so funny. He knows what steaking is now, so he tries to work it into conversation Aww. whenever he can. <laughs> He's so sweet. What a cutie. He is a good yarn husband. Yeah, He totally is. He's like, we are you all have good yarn husbands. Your life? <laughs> we do. We I do. I know, it's true. <laughs> I can't actually take Jonathan to, like, the store because it doesn't, like, pick something up for a hat. And he's like, ooh, this one's cashmere. And I'm like, yes, it is. But it's also pink. Um, I, wool folk is directly behind the camera. And I'm like, I actually owe him a wool folk hat. Well, that's what I made for Jeff it. this year. He got yeah, the yeah. larger um, Prosecco mm -hmm. sample. He's been mm -hmm. wearing it to shovel snow. Yay! Nice. <laughs> I don't know. I have to redo mine. I want to I wanna wear it. Yeah. I, I have mine. Yay. I remember to wear a product. Oh, good. Jonathan and Jeff are both bald. Um, <laughs> so they always It feels super soft on a bald head. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, that mm -hmm. far. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He, he felt it and was like, <gasps> <laughs> Yeah. It's so soft. Yeah. It's so soft. It's good. Good one. All right, so we should get going to. Finished what are we doing? Objects. Finished objects. I have one. I have one. I have none. I have just what I'm ah! wearing. What you? Because I, ca I cast on all the things. So you, you I didn't. I finished things. nothing. Okay, where's <laughs> my one? I could not. Oh, here it is. Stop I don't even have. One. I'll do my one. Speaking Yay! of Prosecco hat and Wolfo far, I have not woven in the ends. So I did. So pretty. Oh, Amanda's I Prosecco. We'll just I love it in the two colors. Show yeah, these in. I did it so in nice. two colors. And I actually I kind of like jury rigged. You extended. I extended the patterning into the decreases, Ooh, which was nice. hard. <laughs> yeah, That's I, don't do it. yeah <laughs> I don't recommend it. I mean, I did it, and it like it's okay. Like it's fine. It works. There's a reason that the designer did what she designer's did. choice. Exa exactly. Was for it's a like, reason. Yeah, no, was, I totally was to make it easier. Like pattern. the first couple of decreases, <gasps> it was fine, and then I was like, oh crap, I committed to this, and I'm not, <laughs> I'm not doing it. Um, but I really like how it turned out. Let me shove. So I just did two I love your colors. Color I do too. Nice. Really nice. 
I love to, you know, to see how nicely it does work in the two colors as yeah, well. Yeah, it works really nice and it's super soft. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I love it. Amanda's pattern is so cute. And so she's is got this the one for hats. you or is this for This is going to be for me. Uh-huh. Cool. I don't, th he doesn't like a slouchy hat and mm -hmm. I think this looks super cute slouchy. I think so too. Um, yeah, adorable. Slash when I was like, oh crap, how am I going to do the decreases now? Because like I committed to this <laughs> and like an idiot. Did not think it through. I was like, all right. Sounds like me. Uh, so it's a little slouchier than if it had been, if it had turned out less slouchy, it would have been for him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's slouchy, mm -hmm. so now it's mine. Mm -hmm. Cool. But it's cute. And I think I might do a pom pom. But I yes, don't know. I, could, oh, yeah, that I like pom poms with pom -pom. slouchy hats. I know. I oh, almost, we have I all the new Toph pom poms back. <gasps> Ooh. I, oh, we yeah. do. And we I should look at those. Stopped, we also restocked our faux pom poms. We are pom pom rich. Yes. In fact, there's going to be an Instagram post on that soon. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> those so I might have have been out, especially the highly desirable. The, the super bright colors. fun the colors. The teals the and the pinks. And the there's yeah. like that aqua blue Purples. that's really pretty, but I don't think we'll work with this. I'll have to look no. for it. Uh, I'm gonna... There's a really dark one. It's a blue that's super dark yeah. that might work with this. It's just not quite black. Yeah. That could be nice. When we're wrapping this up, I'm just going to like <laughs> walk by and take a look. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so this is my one finished object. Oh. So I took off the hat because I'm hot. Um, but and I love it. Well done, Amanda. Yay. You can get the Prosecco hat, the mitts, and the cowl. Mm -hmm. um, All three. Um, on shopyarnia.com or on Ravelry. On Ravelry, yeah. They're on yeah. Ravelry as well. Mm -hmm. And Put your if you project get the up. hat or the mitts, the cowl is free. Ooh. Nice. Super easy, super fun. Um, I have to say, even though it took me forever to bring this in, it did not take me that long to yeah. do. It's not yeah. hard. It's it is not, not, it not hard. Long it does not take long to do. It's not hard, especially very if you don't do decreases. Especially don't if you don't. The decreases. I mean, the thing that took the longest mm -hmm. was obviously... Yes. Yeah. That's yeah. my attention span. <laughs> for yeah. No, I think that's solid. Uh, I think that's a solid mm -hmm. rationale. Um, so what are your finished objects, ma'am? Well, my finished object is another pattern. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Man is killing it. Well, I, I make things because... I want something in my head, like mm -hmm. specifically, and then yeah. I can't find the pattern for it. And I'm like, well, I'm gonna make yeah. it. So the reason I'm that I made it. this was because I wanted to use the three new colors, the new colors yeah. um, of Wolfolk Far, mm -hmm. and I couldn't find like a three color hat that wasn't fussy. Like, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. mm -hmm. like I said, two day project, not a week project. Um, so, you know, didn't have color work with long floats or something like that. Oh. Didn't want to deal with that. Um, and I didn't want just stripes. So mm -hmm. this is like, you're only doing one it's color. It's the answer to a problem, basically. Yeah. It's, it's, you know, yeah, it's cool. Right. It's so that easy, So that's addictive. what I did for that. This one, Charlie needed a mittens. Because, you know, he goes to the school. I think I did. Did I talk about this last time? He does outdoor preschool, right? I forget if I talked about this last time. I think he does he outdoor bit, preschool, yeah. yeah. They're around the corner from me, and it's the cutest thing in the world. Mm -hmm. <laughs> little kids in their little snow suits, yeah. their little rain suits, and they're walking well, she, around the block. He has rain pants today because they're, even though it's not raining at all, it's sunny outside. Um, it rained yesterday, mm -hmm. and their playground and it, gets And it rained, rained like Thursday and Friday mm -hmm. all day. Yeah. Yeah, it's been everything. The ground is saturated here. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> mud. So he's going to splash in the puddles and play in the mud, and so he has rain pants on. He's going to have a grand old time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he needed mittens, and I think the warmest thing is worsted colorwork mittens because you've got 100%. the two layers with yeah. the floats in the back and the knitting on the front. Mm -hmm. It traps the air and makes it super warm. Yeah, right. And you can see. still bend your hands. Yeah. Sometimes the bulky weight mittens they're good for adults because you don't. I mean, you need to grip a car wheel, and that's it. But like <laughs> little kids, they want to pick up the sticks and the rocks and play right. in the mud. Mm -hmm. Yep. And he had thrummed mittens, which were great, the and mittens. they kept his hands warm. But he couldn't. You move can't his really fingers. bend your hands the same. You're way. in a puffy cloud. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> They're so, so warm, though. Yeah, they are so warm. But They're good for like taking a walk, just just yeah. walking. Yeah. Dog walking. Not too. Yeah. Yeah, but not picking up sticks and things like that. <laughs> Important yeah. things if you're five. Yeah. Right? Holding on to the <laughs> swings. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so I I looked online at Ravelry. Um, to see, for, to find a worsted weight, color work mitten, like mm -hmm. a Scandinavian mitten, right? And I found this pattern. Cute. Um, so I knitted it. This is not a three-year-old size. This is no, very closely. No. Yeah. You extend that size. ribbing and that would 100% fit my hands. Mm -hmm. um, Which is so small. But that's a problem. 
But honestly, yeah. the thumb is sort of proportional That's to the to a thir- three-year-old. Yeah. Um, so I'm wondering if I had actually knitted this in sport as opposed to worsted mm-hmm. on a smaller needle. Uh-huh. It might, I could see like the proportion working, but this doesn't work in worsted, mm-hmm. which is what the pattern calls for. Is it German jam? Yeah. So yeah, this so would fit my hand. Also, I have like ten <laughs> colors. Of, I have yeah. like ten colors of Germantown at home from various Germantown <laughs> projects. So, so me I and was, the lucky tweed. <laughs> that three-year-old mittens are also what leftovers are for. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> Let's see if it fits my little hand. Yeah, my small hands. Uh-huh. So this one um, is going to remain unlabeled as term as far as like pattern goes, but it will be in the store and available as a as a sample. Yeah, yeah really. it, it comes really close to fitting me. Right. It's not a three-year-old. <laughs> I need a longer cuff. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yeah. So anyway, so I made my own pattern. Yay! Yay! Yay. <gasps> These so are the, and they, they're blocked on the hand of a three-year-old. Um, these are the, uh, the love bug mittens. So love I just it. used some, sorry, I'm Kathleen, I'm going to block your face. That's fine. So these will focus. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so um, I use like a traditional sort of Scandinavian, uh, Charlie calls it a snowflake in the center and then because it's valentine's day and i love my love bug i put little hearts up here so and down cute. here oh my god i love it there's hearts on the thumb one two three going up here and the color work continues onto the thumb so um, cute. adorable yeah and then i just made a little bit bigger size which fits like a five to seven year old this would like totally fit too. molly yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. um so yeah so and cute. and one there's a few things that i was paying attention to when i was doing this a there's very few places you need to catch your floats. You do on a couple mm-hmm. of rows, like mm-hmm. the longer red ones across the middle of the star, but uh-huh. usually you don't. There's a band of um, contrast color along the side, mm-hmm. which mm-hmm. helps control those floats around the edges of the yep. mitten. That's so they don't get their little very, fingers stuck. It's very yeah. important. <laughs> very yeah. important. It is. Um, so and I found a new method for putting in the thumb. Ah. Ooh, it's Well, it's an old method. It's an Elizabeth Zimmerman method, but uh-huh. I had never heard of it before, oh. and it's just brilliant. Um, and there's a Meg Swanson video. Meg the thumb Swanson. trick. Yes. Yeah. And I was it's like, it's a great, oh. it's great. Because all the patterns I've ever seen have you put the front on hold and cast on for the back. Mm-hmm. And there's another way to do it that I was like, why does not everybody do this? <laughs> the thumb trick. It's so good. So that's Best. now Meg's video demonstrating cool. it is linked in my pattern. Um, so these are out. These are on, um, again, on shopyardia.com in the pattern section. Like, if you go to shop, there's a pattern section. They're there. They're also on Ravelry. And because it's Valentine's and we love you, it's free for the month of February. Nice. Very nice. um, With the code LOVEBUG22. Um, is oh, very nice. I think you need to scale that up for girls. I was gonna say because I want I want a pair. Well, I know, me too. I don't know. There's so many. I mean, if you look for worsted color, uh, there's a lot of grown up ones. Right, but yeah. I want I want, I want the this hearts. one. I know. I actually do love how this big heart turned out. Yes. I charted that myself, yeah. and it turned yeah. out. Yeah. I want love this it. one. I, I want too. this I for my too. hand. We'll so, and then you can have a family of love bugs. Yes. And also, I'm looking for things to do with my Lucky Tweed scrapers, mm-hmm. so that would be perfect. Yeah, I made a Lucky Tweed mitten over mm-hmm. there. I remember. Yeah, it's floating. But we want super this cute. one. We want this one. I mean, like, yes, I can find a lot of worsted weight color work adult patterns. Um, yeah. Skein Deer has some great ones. She does. Uh-huh. I love hers. But, but I want this one. This would be so one. fun to scale Amanda. it up. We'll just put that chart on Skein Deer's. Me too. Uh, me too. I want this one. We'll <laughs> see. I'm Bump I, it up. Yeah. Bump it up, yeah. We'll see. Let me see that one. But I published this one. I would do that in teal and white. Yeah, obviously. But yeah. No, I want so the, I want the family of love bug. <laughs> yeah, no deadline. Really we'll see. We'll see. I might. It's really, really, it's but, really, really cute. Right, I love maybe. that outline heart. Yeah, yeah. I like. I, I do too. I back, do. I love it. The back of the pan pattern. I love the back of the hand pattern. I think it's so. so and I had never tried it a mitten before, but it was really nice. Well, yeah. Oh, and can I just say about the pattern? Um, in in the pattern, when you get it, there are. For, well, there's eight pages of charts. Yeah. That wow. sounds like a lot. Mm-hmm. But there's a, I put yeah, each hand nice. on a different page and the thumb is on each page. Uh-huh. So you only need to print out one page and take it with you. So you uh-huh. can be like left hand. Yeah. Right hand. And then, mm-hmm. yeah. Well, left hand out. small, right hand small, left hand like for the lock, mm-hmm. you know, medium, mm-hmm. right hand medium. And then I also gave you charts in reversed colors. 
because nice. that's one yeah. thing that's that, I've always that, liked to do that. Yeah, because yeah. that's one thing that's frustrating. And actually, I knitted this one off of the dark chart because, you know, with the dark color as the background mm -hmm. and the pattern, you know, the, the design and the light mm -hmm. squares. Mm -hmm. But it messes with your mind. You that's, can't, that's why you I can't. did. You got to color yeah, it for in. My, for my. Um, the Nordic Star oh, hat. Yeah, I did Nordic the same Star thing. Hat. I have, oh. have three charts in that one. I have dark background, light background, and then low contrast, so you can color your own. Too, yeah, yeah. I like. will read if if uh, patterns don't have that option. I will read you the chart in like Excel or Google mm -hmm. Sheets and color it in because I can't just, translate. Well, it yeah. just takes I'm a lot like, longer. It's white just, and it's literally tiring. Teal. It's literally, literally like, with every yeah, stitch, I you're thinking to, switch it, switch it. I did tink back like. At yeah. least yeah. twelve it's, times because I started that's such a nice season. nice feature to yep. have that. Definitely. Nice feature and a good tip that if you are getting thrown off on whatever your chart is, mm -hmm. like print it out in grayscale and color it in. Yeah, or it makes a big difference. Or redo it in a different program or something like that. Yeah, so I actually some graph paper. Haven't knitted the second of this one, and I redid the thumb charts a little. I'm going to do four hearts instead of this one because it didn't show up very well. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. But anyway, Cute. so this is Eric's mitten. He wants it so. <laughs> well, I've, got to, I've got to do the Mama, other one. I need my men. But I'm going right? to use the light chart this time because now it exists. Um, yeah. So it's going to be a lot easier. Be a lot easier to look at. Yeah. So that's my finished object. Which oh, very nice. Super happy. I had um, a few testers do this, do the, who had three year olds, two year olds, and three year olds. I nice. was like, hey, can mm -hmm. you whip this up? Just make Crank sure it that up. it works. Um, Jen gave I've, me some comments yes. on, like, hey, you might need a. Uh, what do you call it? The key for all the symbols in your chart, and I'm like, oh yeah, those. Yeah, that would be good. <laughs> mm -hmm. So now every page also has the key because that's nice. also annoying. That's so much easier. Yes. A thoughtful design. <laughs> yeah, that is. That's very helpful. Because you need one page. Right. Yeah. I mean, you only yeah. need two pages. There you go. Yeah. Here's the right. chart. Do it. But you only have to carry one at a time. Right? Yeah. If you're uh, one minute. That's I love that. Very thoughtful. Oh. I can't stand it when I've got to like, you know, wait. Yeah. What does that symbol When you're mean? flipping? Yeah. Or like, like flipping. find your phone and... I understand up. why, but I don't like it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm like, I, it totally makes sense. Yeah. So. yeah. so don't print the whole thing out. Otherwise, we'll have a lot of pages. Mm -hmm. Look at what you need first. Well, yeah, don't get intimidated. Print. Don't well, get like, intimidated. The first time I, I printed um, a Helen Stewart song pattern, I did realize oh, that yes. all the sizes were in there. I'm like, why is this thing 30 pages? <laughs> similar. <laughs> Helen Stewart sock patterns have like... It's line by line instructions, but mm -hmm. there's a small, then there's a medium, then there's a large. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And unless you're making a whole series of socks, you do not need all of them. And you certainly don't need all of them at the same no. time. Right. That's so, true. so. Okay. Any more so. finished objects? No, because that actually was quite time consuming. Yes, I'm I believe sure. it was. Because <laughs> <more. laughs> you wrote a whole pattern yeah. uh, in multiple sizes with multiple charts. Like, yeah. Amazing. All right, go to whips. Go to whips. You, you want me to start with whips? Yeah, yeah start with whips. So. I have, so have two shawls and two sweaters. Wow! Holy <laughs> moly! That's we're right. We like objects. crossover on one of these shawls. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. I'm sure we will. Um, so my um, my first whip. Sorry, <laughs> thunk. Um, I think I showed last time. I had just started my rain oh, up, right? Yes. Yes. So I kept oh, going on my rain up. Oh, it's this so is the pretty, ball, right? This is the ball January, and I think we do still have a couple of skeins left of this. It's such a beautiful neutral. Isn't it really pretty? I love it. It really yeah. is. Yeah. Like this. Oh, I really again, like that Again, it's like one. the gray. And it would sort of go with the, the, color. The, the February ba as well. I know. Yeah. yeah. We have the fair. It's. Because I see the pink. Yeah. Let me grab one. It's just within reach. It's. Yeah. It, it would go. It, it would, would go. Yeah. So you got. You still got some of the like. Yeah. Yeah. You've got like some of the same. Not, not as much of a kind of straight continuation as some of them have been. But right. yeah, there's definitely mm -hmm. overlap there. I like it. Yeah. It's pretty. So, um, I've been continuing, you know, this is my little twist on the Reina, um, where I really started with, well, I started with the same amount of garter that she said, and then worked a longer lace section. And then I'm kind of mirroring the size of the lace panel in the next garter panel. And definitely I'm now at the point where I'm doing m m more garter rows mm -hmm. to, uh, work with, you know, just to make the look of it a little bit better. So I am, I don't know, and then it's funny, I was, I was doing this, I cast this on because I was really looking forward to doing Seisha's Soraya mm -hmm. shawl, but we was waiting for the knit along kickoff to do that. And so I started this and it really worked out to be, um, at a good point because the rows on this are long enough now that it does get boring. Oh so, yeah. So this is now like my in the background project, my, like if I'm, if I'm going somewhere where I probably will have a little knitting time, but don't really want to be able to concentrate or don't, you know, 
probably yep. am not going to be able to concentrate, so that's what this is, and it's yeah. in a very kind of portable little size bag. It's a good, useful project to have, yeah. the one that doesn't require a lot of, like, thought. Mm -hmm. Yes. But then I was yeah. really getting antsy um, before the story oh, wow. I was getting antsy before that. And, we were waiting for that day, and man. bored with this because the line, the rows were getting so long. <laughs> so I finally cast on a sweater for Jean. <gasps> Yay! Yay! I've been Jean! thinking for the longest Ooh. time that, you know, I wanted to do a sweater for him. And I, all the ones I was picking were going to be so complicated. They were not going to be done this year. And I said, you know what? He needs a Felix. Oh. A Felix without lace. So, the Helix. Oh! Right? I <laughs> love so it! So, this is, of course, Lucky Tweed, my our, our, you know, yarn of choice for Felixes. And um, basically, and I all the notes were on Ravelry. I did update all of my notes this time because I went through a couple of iterations and I started this. I didn't start it at Knit Night last week, but I was working on it at Knit Night last week pretty early on and mm -hmm. I was trying to mental to work the Felix but mentally change all the increases mm. to be just plain raglan increases. Yeah. That is not something you can easily do it at night. Not with no. conversations yeah. going on or anything. No. So I ripped that out and then I tried to chart it that way and then you know what I did? I um the Avalanche sweater is another sweater I've done recently in the yeah. same yarn at the same gauge. Oh perfect. And so I just am using those raglan increases in this sweater. So it's yeah. a little mashup and it, it is in my pattern notes as well. So, you know, this is on a small needle. Oh, you're now, already so through the arm divide. Yeah, I divide. I divide it for sleeves. It goes so quickly. No problem. It does. It so does. that's the thing. He he will have a sweater before the end of February. Nice. Yeah. Maybe even for Valentine's Day. Wouldn't wow. that be nice? And oh I'm using my, goodness. my little Abby tip. Is trying to knit a hat for I mean Aww. she is knitting a hat for Eric. Aww. So I have some for Val she's trying to finish it for Valentine's. Oh, that's so sweet. But she just learned how to pearl. Uh -huh. Oh dear like, uh -huh. on Sunday. So <laughs> she's about Five rows in oh, on good. the ribbing. It'll go faster when she gets. She'll yeah, when it. she's onto the side. Is she working in the round? Yeah, it's soon? also her first time in the round. I'll put mm -hmm. a little picture in here of her working on her Valentine's so present. Yeah. Oh my goodness, that's her whip. But that's you're gonna have adorable. a Valentine's. Oh. I'll you're gonna, you're gonna, I'll yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll so this is, you know, we've been watching some of the Olympics the last couple of nights, and this oh, is fun. the perfect kind of mindless knitting for yeah. that. So I'm on the body of that. And it looks great. That I love the one. It's beautiful. Oh, and I love the flex on this one, too. The green. The sea glass, yeah, and this yes. will be really pretty with his eyes. So that's, um, yeah, so that's it's exciting that I'm actually, I figured out something. But the funny thing, we went down to see my mom this Sunday, and in the car, driving on the way down, you know, just turned on the radio, and usually... I have Sirius. I usually pick our station I want to listen to. It was on NPR, and it was Freakonomics Radio, and they... I love Freakonomics. I know. Me too. So um, they were in the middle of a discussion about um, superstitions, but they specifically were talking about the sweater curse. Oh, oh! While I'm finally making the second sweater I've ever made for him in 30 years. Oh my goodness. Isn't He's... that crazy? Isn't so, that so I'll funny? So, link A, I love Freakonomics. That's one of my Saturday, because I listen to... Um, just NPR news in the morning, mm -hmm. usually just for like 15 minutes, so I know what's basically going on in the world. Mm -hmm. But um, then Freakonomics is my Saturday morning because mm -hmm. I have more mm -hmm. time. But I'll link that episode down below if you haven't yeah. dove in, dove, di dive, dived into Freakonomics. We're dove. Mm -hmm. so, so fun. Interesting. So interesting. Yeah. So good. So it was funny. I mean, it was a whole episode about different superstitions and how, cool. you know, they worked people's lives, but they specifically were on the sweater curse portion of it. So, uh, you know, if you know... Explain what the sweater yeah, curse is. You, you probably have heard about the sweater curse, but if not, basically the um, idea is that if you're dating someone and you decide to make them a sweater, chances are you will break up with them. So, so Gene, when, <laughs> when I'm working on this, and he had not heard about the sweater curse before, he's oh. like, is this a sign? What? <laughs> what are you trying to tell what me? What are you trying to tell me? I said, no, no, we've been married for over 20 years. I said, I'm sure it does not. It's legally you know, binding now. I said, though, the fact that you lost the one sweater I ever made you is one of the reasons that yes. it's taken me this long to do the That is one. <laughs> an alternate sweater. I have never made a sweater for Jonathan, and it's mostly because mm -hmm. he wants something really fine gauge, and he can't, well... He either he, the sweaters he wears are really fun gauge. Although mm -hmm. he does, he did say he wanted a shawl collared sweater, a cardigan like kind of thing, or either a cardigan or like one of those a like a like professor. Yeah, professor, oh, like that a, would be a, nice. Yeah, right. That would be fun. Um, you could do a comfort thing. You could do it in Lucky Tweed. I could do it in Lucky Tweed. I have suggested that, but he's like, oh, and he's so fussy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but I mean, he's like. He likes the soft, soft yarns. And I have, like, in my head, I have this image of, like, 
kind of like a gray brown or a brown or mm-hmm. a gray one that's like tweedy. So mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. Yeah, tweedy, tweedy. tweedy. But I don't think that's what's in his head. Yeah, yeah. So we go back and forth. Yep. So yeah. So this should be this definitely Love should it. be done by the next episode. That is not going to be done anytime soon, which is fine. It's always good to have Tamila Castrillo. Yeah. Because even the lace on we that, like once backup. you've done it for a bit, it's so it's very easy. Yeah. Um, I did also start oh my, um, my test oh, yes, of Haley's yes, yes. 16 degrees pattern. <gasps> Yay! Um, did she write it up? Did you guys write we, it up? We wrote it up. Yeah, we wrote it up. And so she she tested it with the second one that she made that okay, she has at good. school with her. Um, I am testing my size with this one, but oh yeah, I got goodness. to the, uh, so the, the, the ribbing actually hurt my hands. The ribbing is just knitting, you know, knit one pearl one on size 17 needles. It's hard. So this, <laughs> the ribbing took me as long as like half of the body basically. Yeah, I can imagine. Um, then I got that far. I divided for sleeves. Time. Sure. And, um, and then, then I decided to make jean sweater. So that's why this is at the point it's at. How long like, did this take you? Like oh, a day? No, more than a day. I did. Okay. I did the ribbing, the ribbing one night. I did the ribbing <laughs> one night. I've probably worked on this four days altogether, right, but not. So this is a nice. But quick. probably not. You know, it was probably not the only thing I knit on those four days either. It yeah, was I was like, gonna say. Like my, if you my didn't evening have knitting. four projects, this would probably be like a week oh, long it would. Sweater. Yeah, it would or probably be a week, week to two weeks. I sort of yeah. want to do this with a high low back and a little slimmer. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. That would be that would be amazing. Yeah. I sort of want to do that. So we're, we're we are still working on it. We're gonna we're gonna get it done. So soon. But now Haley's doing Jen's sweater class, so she is. she's kind she's of doing a good job. Distracted. Mittens and that. hats take a lot less time to write a pattern than a sweater. It's oh, true. for sure, for sure, for sure. But then I'm the not last, that brave. The not last of my my the whips sizing on sweaters that's hard is the one that we're gonna. I've got crossover with the I was thinking Amanda. about that this morning. Like someday when I grow up, I'm gonna I'll do sweater patterns, but. I can totally grade them. I can do math. Mm-hmm. You can do math. Mm-hmm. I can do the math. I'm 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 a math. I'm a friend of math. Yeah. yeah. But that's where I get. But I don't have the brain space to do get that bogged now. down. Mm-hmm. <gasps> Look at this pretty pretty. So last Friday night we had our kickoff for the Sarai Cow. Love it. Um, designed by sure. Stacia Green, our associate and friend. And um, I've gotten through the first set of nups or noops. I, I say nups. But I say nups too. I say nups. Are you supposed I, to say noops? Apparently, really? they're Estonian well, I'm, I'm and, and in Estonian they are pronounced noops. All right. But yeah, cool. mo- most everyone in the U.S. anyway says nups. Yeah. I like and nups. That's, it sounds more comfortable to my nups. ears. So um, we were supposed to have an in person Zoom hybrid, but it was freezing rain on Friday and we wanted yes. everyone to be safe. So, like, literally freezing oh yeah yeah oh it like, was it ice. was one of the let's most miserable days in my backyard yeah, yeah it was it was very miserable school was closed early all of that stuff mm-hmm. yeah. so um but but the zoom turned out really the nicely. zoom was so good and like every everyone was at you know like it, there were it wasn't like there were people in the store and people online everyone got to know each other we did you know yeah. full intros with everybody That's and great. well for I, those we, that showed up on time <laughs> i thought it started at you seven. thought it was seven <laughs> <laughs> So, um, yeah, so Seisha worked us through. <laughs> Such a dumb dumb. Basically, this was the point that she got us to during the Zoom. Um, yeah. And there still are four kits left. Somebody yes. bought one oh. over the weekend. We're down to four. Oh, and you can totally catch up. You totally you can. Totally catch exactly. Up. This, I mean, we worked through this in two, in actually less than two hours on the yeah. call. Because, um, we did spend quite a bit of time like doing intros and things and not everyone got to this point and that's fine, but well, we have a goal. But you can you know. play, you can totally play catch up and that's and the also, part about a cow. You can yeah, always And like, it goes oh, to the end of start March. It. it goes, it's, it's yeah. like a seven, eight week cow. So because it's there are going to be prizes involved in this cow. Nope. There, yes, there is a prize. The yeah. prize is the winner's choice of any of the lobby anime bags that we carry. That's a good prize. Yeah. You guys. Look what so, you're knitting on too. I know. Show I the know. needles. Show the needles. Yeah. Oh, so well, these are I'm gonna take them shiny. Yeah, the the Leica Cipra. A needles. so you can see the noops, noops <laughs> yeah. and B so you can see these brand the new pretty n- needles. needles. I do love well, them. They're oh, very they're cool. so gorgeous! Like like I meant to throw them in my bag. Too. That is such not. a Yay. nice uh, combo of needle Look at that. color and project. I know, isn't so it? So aesthetically pleasing. It's very well, these are brand new, and we have we actually bought quite a few this time. Thank yeah. goodness. And they're actually copper. There's your noops. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're, they're copper. Copper colored. They're copper. Look mm-hmm. at that. Mm-hmm. 
beginning. So, so it's gonna be really cool when yeah. they patina. Yeah. They'll patina. They won't. Very they won't stain your knitting when they. Well, patina. if you like metal needles and or you like the look them. at, or you already have all the cords and the accessories, yeah. and you're like, but I want metal. And uh, and these all have swivel have cords, and they're clear cords That's too. That's so cool. Ooh. They're very cool. I think he's Jay said they are gonna have these separately eventually. Right? Eventually. I think so. Well, everything. I want those. And if we can ever get the swivel cords back in, you know, everyone it's knows about all the supply chain, chain issues. That's when we get them, we'll get them, and we'll of, let you guys one know. One of the things yep. that, yeah. Um, one and of the things but that we have plenty of cords get. right now, which is great. Oh, we have tons of the black awesome. cords. We were missing. Yeah, we were, and I actually we don't mind the black cords. I mean, I want this little oh, cords, too, but um, I, yeah. I like, yeah, I like options is what it comes down they're to. Fine. I mean, to me, the thing with the black cords, um, they can be a little stiff at first, but oh, if you so soak nice. them in hot water, just the way spaghetti kind of relaxes as soon as you put it in the boiling water, the cords do the same. Don't put the metal parts in. Don't put them out. Oh, good no. plan. Just yeah, don't put just dunk. I I have an electric kettle. I boil some water, put it in a you know wide okay. bowl, dunk it in, and they're good to go. Yeah, oh. hang them up. If too. you go no. if you go out in very cold weather, they will stiffen again. But other than that, that's because they're plastic. So I've yeah. also started on my Soraya, and I'm knitting yes. on Lucca. Yes. I'm like I'm knitting on classic Lucas. Also yes. a lovely color. Ooh, so pretty! So you color got through color. all the noops. I got through the noops. I got through the second four stitches, and cool. I'm on the shadow cables because wow. I have a. I know I went ahead, <laughs> but I have a goal because I want to stay on track and I want to use a skein a week uh -huh. because there's five skeins mm -hmm. and. I'm still not done with the skein. Wow, that's still the first. It's like skein. the magical skein that that's never amazing. ends. It is. That's amazing. I'm like, it's how beautiful. long is this gonna go? So I'm definitely not gonna go past the shadow cables because mm -hmm. that's plenty. Mm -hmm. But wow, huh? So um, pretty. I love that purple. I yeah, love really that. But nice. now it's, it's and and I was at my. I was waiting on my daughter for orchestra, which is why I went ahead because this is all I brought, and I was uh -huh. like, well, yep. I hate when that happens. Um, <laughs> so I ended up cabling with a needle. Like a mm -hmm. tapestry needle. I've tapestry done it. Tapestry needle. <laughs> yeah. Solid. I've done it with a pencil too. <laughs> yeah. I've done it with. I anything. looked at my bag, and that was like the only thing I had. The but yeah, thing. I'm in the middle of a of of a cable row. Yeah, nice. so I can't really. You can't really take it. Let me see how big your nubs are. Mine are mine, much smaller than yours. Yeah, mine are yeah. mine are too big. I don't. I'm gonna redo them. And did you do Sasha's trick of, of yes, I did. kind of do them Caging together them? on the back? Yeah, it's I definitely love good. that. I'm gonna do that from yeah, now on. I love it. Yeah. I may do, I may only do five instead of seven. I think that's one of the reasons mine are so big. Oh. It's, so, it's so funny, even though I'm such a loose knitter, I think because, Here, I'll show you mine. I don't know, it's like. I finished, I finished all the part that we were supposed to do and then I went on, because we're going through this little mm -hmm. slip stitch part. And actually our next get together is, will be, um, the week after this comes out, the following Friday, we're meeting oh, every yeah. other week. Yeah, so, so like definitely time. Guys. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, I started this on last, at the last night. Friday. Yeah. I started this halfway through the <laughs> the cast on party <laughs> yeah. on Friday, and then I worked on it a little bit over the weekend. But this was Monday. The last time I worked on this was Monday. So mm -hmm. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, four days, and I'm already through what we were planning to do yeah. for the two weeks. Yeah. But um, I'm sure those later sections, because it is say, a half pie, the the rows are going to be much much yes, longer. Which is why I'm trying to do a, a skein yeah. a week. Because your last I'm skein get is going to be like four rows. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Mm -hmm. So long as you stay on track. Yeah, stay on track. I love it though. I'm having so much fun with that. It's love. so nice, right? Yeah. Love it. Do you have any other whips? Oh, certainly. All right, go to your whips. You Wait, are you done with your whips? I'm done with whips. Okay, go to two your whips. Two shawls and, and two sweaters is enough, enough for whips. You're like, right are you sure those, it's enough? Those are, those are the, I, yeah, I, <laughs> for, even for me, I'm like, I've hit my limits. Uh, well, I pulled out um, an old whip because this is on my whip, languishing whips, but I'm actually doing it this year. This one is going to get done sooner than later. You just hadn't seen it for a while. Um, but oh yes, yes. my so Mino vest is so coming pretty. back. I'm going to finish this by the end of March, I'm sure. Oh yeah, because now you're on the back and back and forth part. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I finished the whole back. So the That's back great. I finished last August, end of August, beginning of September. Oh, so And beautiful. then I realized I had to put the pedal to the metal in my parents' sweaters, and I put right. this right. to the side. Priorities mm -hmm. take precedence. Yeah. Yeah. So I thought I had finished the front up to the. Like divide for the collar, mm -hmm. but I had not. I had only gotten about eight rows past the sleeve divide. Mm -hmm. um, so I I thought I could finish it in February, but I think it's actually going to take me 
And then I stopped and I made Ted Charlie's. Then mittens. she started writing patterns. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> so, you know, I've, I'm, I'm here. And, and what's like, the name of the pattern again? This is the Mino Pullover Mino. Vest by Sylvia Watts Cherry. Mm -hmm. It's it was, mint chocolate chip. Yeah. Yes, totally mint chocolate It was chocolate in chip. the By Hand magazine, mm -hmm. which is an amazing magazine. So what By Hand does is they do like a location theme. So mm -hmm. this was from the London edition. Because mm -hmm. um, Sylvia Watts Cherry mm -hmm. is in London. And um, she actually has a pattern in the book. That's with, right. She does. In the does. Worst, in well. the worst yeah. Yeah. book. Yeah. She's amazing. I love her designs. Um, I remember I saw her at Vogue Knitting when she had that amazing sweater on. Like I, oh, she was yes. going in before me. What it was twenty nineteen or twenty twenty? Yeah. yeah. But it was it made an impression on me, and I didn't even know who she was or what. But I saw her on the way in, and then I kept seeing her like from a distance in the crowd. <laughs> yeah, that is an amazing sweater. So this is done in. This is done in um, Spring Street from North Light Fibers, which mm -hmm. is so beautiful. Mm -hmm. It is amazing. It's so, the wool is so well combed, it almost feels like cotton, you know, like that yeah. smoothness. Uh -huh. um, and it's fingering weight. I'm using um, a three, it's actually three colors. There's like one white row and like You can see it really while. nicely in person. It oh, adds like a little bit yes. of depth. Yes. Uh -huh. See? Um, and this is actually some allegoria that I had at home because, like, for one white row every once in a while. Yeah, yeah. Um, you don't need, yeah, need a I just use what I had. I didn't open works. a skein. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, yeah. It's beautiful. This is going to finish. I can't wait. But it will take me a little bit because I am working color work flat. That was, one, that was another yeah. reason I wanted to do this because I'd always been sort of like intimidated by mm -hmm. these sweaters. Like the throwback was initially written for color work flat. Yeah. We steeped it. Some of you didn't. Some, some of people, it, Some people did it flat. Some did it people flat, and that's the way flat. the patterns written. Yeah. yeah. And it always I was just, just like yeah. there was a new technique that I'd never done, and it was yeah. sort of intimidating. So that's what I usually do when I'm like, no, I should try something. I just pick a pattern and do it. That's how I started in Tarja too. Uh huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> and then the you get there blanket. and you're yeah. like, well, I guess I have to learn this technique yeah. now to finish. Kind of forces you into it. We're yeah. like, yeah. all right. So yeah. and it's not hard. Oh my goodness. It's no, not. It's not hard. It's just a little bit different. It's it's a tweak. Yeah. Yeah. It's a tweak. It, yeah. It's just your floats are on the front instead of on the back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Totally doable. But yeah, now I'm now it's fine, and I'm gonna finish it and wear it. And I think it's gonna be perfect for spring. Perfect. Right? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Just yeah. a little warm on your like, core. Yeah. Little kitty yeah. over yeah. like a dress. Yeah. Or something. Any other whips? Um, well, what my like Kathleen said, it's nice to have a mindless project. I've been. I showed this last time. I've been working on my, now this is back into regular rotation as my mindless project. Yay. I actually finished both of these yesterday. Cool. Shoot, uh, I like this one. Yeah, right? That's Ivysaur. <gasps> I love Ivysaur. This is my Pokemon mm -hmm. blanket project. So um, I'm now, I'm working on the grass badge. So this is Ivysaur and this is Tangela. I finished, but like I said, I finished both of these yesterday. I'm doing um, in-depth interviews for some product research. So it's hour long interviews. And I'm not the one that's interviewing. I'm observing and then answering the technical questions so that the interview can continue moving along. Mm -hmm. um, but that means I'm just like on yeah, hours you're of interviews listening. a day. Yeah, oh wow. Well. And it's a perfect time to mm -hmm. knit squares because it is like mindless. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I'm super happy because I finished mm -hmm. the, well, I know, all these little things are bouncing everywhere. <laughs> this right. is my crochet blanket. Um, mm -hmm. My granny stripe. Pokemon crochet so blanket, Definitely. and I finished all of the electric jam on my crochets, and I threw in this one, uh, this blue that's mm -hmm. here, um, should be down with the water here, but I didn't rip back. Whatever, so. yeah. right? It's fine. So this is this is my mindless project, my Pokemon blanket. I love this. I, I do love the, the very stripe. stripe. Me too. I do the knits first, knit squares first, and then I do the same colors on the crochet, and then I go to the next gem. So this Pokemon yarn is. Molly Girl, mm -hmm. um, and we're probably I have, getting some new ones in. I have right? a new one right here. Oh, you do? <gasps> okay. I do have the new one. I think we have one more kit of the grass gem. This I gem. love the grass gem. The grass colors. gem is really pretty, and the other two colors are here. So this is the grass gem all together. I think we have one more. We have one more kit of the grass gem, mm. which is super what cute. Are those two? Bell Sprout. And, oh, Bell Sprout. And what's the evolution? Victory uh, Bell. Victory Bell. Yeah, mm -hmm. so that's what I like these the bell sprout because it's got a little pink in it. I know, I really oh, love this I love color. That. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is that's very my crochet hook. Shoot. 
Don't worry about it. Um, and this bag is getting like way it's too very full. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna, gonna one of the Labiana Maya bags. That's what my dad's sweater was in the pink one. Yeah. I think I'm gonna trade it out. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm gonna trade mm -hmm. it out. Either that, or I've gotta split it up and put the crochet in one, and then knit in the other. Nah, or you could split it up and then put it in the Labiana Maya bag. Yeah, something. I don't know. That way you have it all. Like you're, you, it's your Pokemon. Bag. See, that's what happens like, when you don't unbox. When you unbox live, you unbox things that you don't <laughs> You're oh. like, not it. And actually, right. speaking of unboxings and and just you know going back to one of our recent questions yeah. for contests, people, you know, we asked people what they wanted to see. We did post on Instagram um, an unboxing of Matt Tosh recently with Emma. Oh, that was really fun. fun. I so. love that. And she's stacking them all but up. And I was like, oh, they all grow. You know what I want to do? I want to, I'm going to save um, a highlight on our, uh, on our Instagram of, of some what of our unboxings. Because then you can have the fun of watching a, oh uh, God, so a time lapse anytime you want. Oh, <laughs> so yeah. satisfying. So I'm going to repost that one because I forgot to save it as a highlight when it was up. So it'll go up again. Yeah. <laughs> but that'll so be fun. And Haley also reminded me when I was talking about that, she's like, and don't forget, almost all of our videos from Vlogmas have at least one time lapse. Because oh, she was obsessed by the time lapse. Because she's like, I'm going to make it go. And often, you know, time lapses in cars, so. Yep. Uh, <laughs> we showed my mom the other day with the, with the windshield. <laughs> the windshield I loved that. Off. That was hilarious. <laughs> was I so mean, crazy. Thank goodness it wasn't really raining at that right, point. Right. It, I was, mean, this it is, had been raining on and off. Wait, but, what, what is it? Uh, the Mel Brooks thing, it's like comedy is when it happens to you and tragedy is when it happens to me. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Yeah. I, yeah. I totally butchered that. No, but, I, that's yeah, perfect. I love it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do you have any more whips? I do not. All right. I'm out of whips. All right. I got good. my, I got two. Let's see some whips, Jen. All right. So the first <laughs> one is the big yes. one. Where oh. this is. Here's my cable needle, which is one of the Britney cable needles. I'm gonna get a love those. real cable needle, <laughs> which I love it. I, I am very much of the, pff, you don't need a real use cable whatever. needle. Use whatever. Use whatever. Use a My, my I mean, favorite. Something at the right gauge would be nice. It it's, doesn't really matter as long as it's smaller than your stitches. I mean, you don't need that. I need some friction. It would be oh, helpful. Yeah. Um. So the way that I cable is I actually don't knit off the cable needle. I slip the, I use the cable needle to hold it and then uh -huh. I slip it back to the That's needle. what I do too. That's oh, exactly how I do it. Needle. Yeah, I don't I know find it I, I find it faster to put it back yeah. on and then knit from there. So you're like yeah. hold it, knit it, slip slip. Yep. Knit it. Um, it's so interesting the way like all those different little things where yeah. there's so many ways to do it. Oh, and yeah. Just over time. You find what works for you. That is the most yeah. important thing. And that's what I was... So this is the retro sweater. So gorgeous. Those cables on the back. I know. Check out cables me. everywhere. I'll, I I could put it on like a weird little <laughs> dicky. A dicky. <laughs> cables on the back. Oh my gosh. So it's pretty. so <laughs> So this is the retro pullover. This is the Sunday sweater class. Um, this is a top down saddle shoulder set in sleeve cabled sweater where nice we're really talking about knitting to a schematic rather than using the gauge, especially for the upper shoulders. Because this mm -hmm. is how you, this is where a sweater fits or doesn't fit. Oh, pulling your mm -hmm. hair out of the back. Thank you. Pull my hair out of the back. <laughs> there we go. So I am pretty much at the sleeve. I've done the front. I've done the back. Mm -hmm. The front is lowered with short rows, which I adjusted the neckline so it wasn't too. So it's I don't the way like, you want it to fit. It's yeah, the way I, don't I like want it, it real to fit. tight either. And that's what we went over in this past class. Mm -hmm. And so then now I'm going to... Does the collar pick up and knit up? Or is no. Start, you with the start with the collar. You start with the collar. Yeah. You start with the collar. You knit the straps out from the collar. Oh, and then... Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then you pick up along the straps and then you work down for the back. Mm. And you do your arm shaping. And then on the front, you work down on the front, but you do short rows. Eating up the collar stitches. Until you get to the... And then you work down, and then you do your sleeve shaping like that. Uh, and then I will join for the round. And the next session, I will tell folks how to adjust foil bust. Because if you notice, your upper bust and your shoulders, when you're doing a set-in sleeve sweater, or a saddle shoulder sweater, or anything that's not like a round yoke or raglan, mm -hmm. anything like that, um, this is where your sweater fits. So I could have mm -hmm. 12 inches of ease everywhere else in the sweater, so long as it fits here. Mm -hmm. If I have 12 inches of ease here and like it goes out oh, here, yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. going to look not gonna feel good at all. Too big, good. too yeah. sloppy, too oversized. It's mm -hmm. a look. It's not a look that is necessarily what I want for this sweater. Mm -hmm. It might be mm -hmm. a look that you want for that sweater, but 
Um, but when you're, you know, when people complain about properly fitting sweaters, for the most part, it's because it doesn't fit in the shoulders. The shoulders, yeah. Um, and in this approach to a pattern or any set in sleeve kind of pattern or uh, saddle shoulder pattern, fitting it to the shoulders is actually considerably easier than fitting a raglan to the shoulder the shoulders. I mean, you mm -hmm. can do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but, you know, raglans in general are meant to be looser. A little loose. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? You don't necessarily More have a, a tight fitting raglan. Or if you do, you have a little bit of fabric right here. Yes. You're mm -hmm. always going to get that. That's just the nature of the style. Mm -hmm. So for a set in sleeve, if you knit it to fit your upper, your shoulders and your upper chest, mm -hmm. you make modifications for the rest of your chest and you make modifications for the body. Right? But like, Fundamentally, my shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder measurement, no matter how much weight I gain or lose, it doesn't change substantially. Right. Mm -hmm. Right? It's your skeleton. It's yeah, exactly. It's your, it's your, bones, your yeah. bone structure. <laughs> so, like, it's I'm putting my fingers on where the joint mm -hmm. where my sleep, where my my arm and shoulder. Like, if you move up and down, you can feel that kind mm -hmm. of like divot. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. From that to that, That's, across your front yeah. and across your back. Now, mm -hmm. the numbers across your front and the numbers across your back might be different depending if you have a hunchback, or if you're like where you carry your weight, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But in general, that number is what you're knitting this width to. And the nice thing about this pattern and this approach, I look ridiculous wearing this little dicky. It's hilarious. <laughs> um, but the nice thing about this pattern is once you do the neckline, like it doesn't matter what gauge, you can use this as a recipe for anything. It's right. like, right, you knit your straps out mm -hmm. to your shoulders, mm -hmm. you pick up your stitches that you need to pick up, and then you arrange for your patterns. Right. So you could swap in, Haley's swapping in a different... A trellis cable Cable, pattern. you can yeah. do what you do, right? Mm -hmm. Like if you mm -hmm. wanted to do but this big fancy that. pattern... You could do that big fancy pattern so long as mm -hmm. you have enough room. Well, you mm -hmm. just have to count how many stitches are in the chart. Right. Exactly. Let's see if you're Yeah, doing that's this. what I did here was count how many stitches are in the chart. And actually, this one is a raglan, so I had to wait to start my mm -hmm. big part of the chart mm -hmm. until I got so you had no wide stitches, enough. Basically. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, the thing is, is that in some ways, raglans and round yoke sweaters are considerably easier to knit but they are a little bit trickier to fit. Mm -hmm. um, and set-in sleeves and saddle shoulder sweaters are more complicated to do, yep. but I think that they're easier to fit because to a certain extent you have to throw out, and this is even if you're on gauge, you have to throw out your stitch counts because you're knitting it to fit you or you know specific measurements and so mm -hmm. i suggested to everybody in the class draw your own schematic mm. yeah interesting with your own measurements because you know everybody's torso is different mm -hmm. your width is not my width and is not your width mm -hmm. um you know knit to what you want it to be and then when you're doing the underarm it's like i adjusted my underarm increases because i wanted a slightly higher underarm mm -hmm. uh -huh. um and also like i wanted it to you know Right. So I had to do, I just tweaked it a little bit. But like, whatever you do, just write it down. Do you know what this reminds me of a little bit that I think does a good job of sort of explaining that on more basic sweaters? This is not basic. This is not basic. No. Um, <laughs> it's the cocoa knits yes. method where uh -huh. you measure yourself yeah. Yeah. and That's calculate, exactly. mm -hmm. you know, how many, then you get your swatch and you figure out how many stitches per inch or per four inches you have. Yeah. And then you do the math to figure out how many stitches you need in each section. Yeah. And basically build your own pattern. They teach you how to do that in the Cocoa Knits workbook. Cocoa Knits workbook oh. is a fantastic one. I also highly recommend Amy Herzog's sweater, uh, Ultimate Sweater Book. Mm. Similar concept. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, it's sweater design, which is intimidating or can be intimidating. But when you break it down step by step in the mm -hmm. Cocoa Knits book, doesn't it? Yeah, it's you, you don't have to design. You don't have to think. You just yeah. like fill in the you, worksheet and they give your... you step by step on yeah. how to do that. Mm -hmm. And theirs isn't set in, theirs is contiguous. Yes. But mm -hmm. it's basically the same thing where you it's make the, the same body. style of fitting, it's just yeah. a different method. Right. And then mm -hmm. you pick up stitches and go down. Yeah. Also, the Ann Bud sweater workshop books are great for that. They basically give you, you pick your gauge, you pick your size. And they give you a recipe for yeah, that. Cool. Um, but I think the coconuts one teaches you a little bit more, and the Amy Hartzog one teaches you mm -hmm. a yeah. little bit of what you need. So well, we'll do a coconuts again. I really enjoyed. 
I love the reading that oh. stuff. Yeah. I was looking for contiguous cable sweaters, and it was difficult to find. So, but I think mm-hmm. the set-in is a great technique. I too. love the set-in, and the thing is, everybody's like, it looks so small. I'm like, right, because you're used to seeing like a round yoke or a raglan, mm-hmm. which accounts for your shoulders too. Right. Yeah. Right. Or not shoulders, arms. Right. Mm-hmm. So like this is like this. There's no way this is gonna fit me until I put it on, and I'm like, oh yeah, it fits me. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Right? And it's curling up, and I haven't, I actually blocked the back with steam. I didn't block mm-hmm. the front. Um, but you can see yeah. how the little necky is going to go. So pretty. Yes. So, so we're just. So that's that. So that's gorgeous. been a bunch of time. And then, as I stab everything. <laughs> then the other thing, oh, i got to put my yes. cable needle back in. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I like a sucker. Uh, not a sucker, but like <laughs> I purchased some of the La Bianame Cori confetti, which is only oh available on her website. Yes, and because I'm, she like uses her mill ends. She uses her yeah. mill ends and it's for this. And it's like, yeah. and did you see the new one? Is framboise. like framboise, so, so it's gorgeous. like this dark raspberry with speckles. So pretty. Oh my god, I love I this one. This one. So yeah. I got this a couple That's weeks ago. Graybo? Is that Graybo? Right. I think it's Graybo. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Graybo number two. And actually, Fall somebody, someone who's doing the Soraya Cal got the gold confetti um, gold Cassie. Confetti is so oh, pretty. Yes. Oh my gosh, love that. So you got to look on Lobby Anime. Um, she has limited editions. It's not like she's got a lot of colors going on. It's like what they're she, doing. She does one at a time. Basically. She does one at a yeah. time. Yeah. And when it's gone, it's gone. And when it's gone, it's gone. And I'm gonna make a Felix. Oh, um, yay! Okay. I so gorgeous. Started oh my God. a swatch, um, and I think it's upstairs in my office. That is so, so fun. So I love that. Yeah. What a great idea. Yeah. Oh, but I also forgot. Look at my spoon. <laughs> oh, she made it. Love this I carved one. a spoon. It's so cool. This is from Mel's Carving Club, Melania Brontes on Instagram. Um, I'm going to show your spoon. Yeah, show my spoon. I'm going to show my other spoon that I did from a stick. Oh my God. A stick in your yard? A stick in my yard! So what cool. Heck, <laughs> What are you, you going to use the teeny tiny one for? I have absolutely no idea. Ollie wants it. It's just so cute. Okay. You could use a teeny little bit of sugar a or something. Teeny little bit of sugar. Or salt. Salt. Like a salt. A salt. It might be a salt seller yeah. spoon. This is, it is a good salt seller spoon. Yeah. yeah. So. That's so I forgot cute. I put them in here. It's fun. Oh my so goodness. I carved this out of wood. They're super smooth. <laughs> That's because I sanded it. Because ever loving crap out of it. Sand does all the crafty things. I the Eric needs things. to come I like to you things. for some yeah, tutorials. Yeah, it's so fun to make things. Yeah. For his, uh, what are you, pine box? <gasps> yes, the pine uh, box derby. The derby. No, or like whatever the little cars are. Yeah, the pine box derby. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, or pine something derby. Pine, pine wood derby. Wood. That's pine it. Pine wood derby. Mm-hmm. My dad's a woodworker, so I grew up doing... Um, like he's like here carve some wood with a spoke shave and i'm like all right sounds like a good <laughs> eric actually has a fast car like one that goes fast that's it great is not super smooth but it doesn't matter because it goes fast because that's fast. like literally luck of the draw i think with these things a lot of times uh-huh. like so whatever we're, we're not touching it we're not no don't touch it because that's how mm-hmm. we mm-hmm. um so one thing we haven't talked about yet actually yeah i have two things we haven't talked about yet one we've been talking about cows right yeah yep. about soraya cow you can still get in on that <clears throat> we have a cow coming up with nitty natty <gasps> yes we yes! do so if you follow us on instagram or follow her you've seen wait. that we did a call so for great. designers um, we are trying to get some exposure for some lesser known designers. Yeah. Because she's got such a great platform and she's such a lovely person. Oh, she's the doll. And um, yeah, so we're, we're you know, we've got, I think, at As least 40 designer, submissions. It's like impossible by to now. get. Hard to break in. Yeah, like, hard to get exposure. So exposure. So we were looking for patterns that either, you know, hadn't been released yet or if they were on Ravelry already had 25 or fewer projects. You yeah. know, that definitely yeah. is, you know, if you're at that point, it, it has not been done a whole lot. And, um, yeah, soon we're going to be getting together to go through them. And the part where you come in is there's going to be a vote. So yes. we're going to have, I don't know, we'll see three to five designs maybe that um, everyone will vote on. Yeah. And uh, but then once the design is picked, we'll do um, a cal in March and April. So we're looking for patterns that use you know by the weight? by the time this goes up it's going to be too late oh okay it's going to be yeah it's the the timing worked out so that we had just recorded when she and i talked and nailed everything down okay and but 
But so yeah, so what well what to expect when you know if you when yeah. about doing the cow is it will be fingering weight. It'll be fingering weight. It'll be two to three colors. <clears throat> and one of the things we're doing right now is ordering yarn both from Madeline Tosh and La Bien Anime. Um, in yeah. addition to what we already have in the store to make some kits. Yep. So we'll have kits oh. available. You can also use you right. know yarn you have already and Or mix and match. You can right. take exactly. your favorite if there's like you if you have a onesie one skein that you're like okay this is something i need to use for something special mm -hmm. but you don't know what to pair it with yeah oh yes come into the store look online mm -hmm. when we get our new shipments because that's when we have the broadest selection yes. exactly exactly and absolutely and one of the fun things we did over the weekend we were emailing each other we each picked out like a couple of sets yes. so there'll be there'll be collections that we've put together that will work with the different patterns or mm -hmm. as we said you know either get some, you know, to work with a special one you have on your own or, or come in and put together your own. Yeah. yeah. So that, that's going to be a lot of fun. Or ask for our help. Like, yeah. Kathleen I love to do that. fantastic. <laughs> well, it's, it. it's, it's so funny, though. I'll I'll pick this I've gotten, I, um, I had somebody here yesterday who, it was so funny, it was pretty quiet yesterday because it was, the weather was not great, it was raining, and, you know, a lot of times that slows traffic down, but we had two people for help. Sasha came in later because she had a class at night and everything, so... Um, we did a bunch of shipping in the morning. I have somebody helping with shipping now. Yay! Because thanks, guys. We're shipping so much. We, yes, we need more we help with shipping. Um, but somebody came in in the midst. It was like there were like eight people here all at the same time. <laughs> and one woman had like ten skeins of fennel garn. And she had a hat in mind. And it was one of those things where she, her daughter found the picture, showed it to her. And she wanted it exactly like it was in the picture. Right. And that can be hard. Sometimes yeah, it's, tricky. you know, in the one yarn that this person used, it was kind of a, like a rusty brown, like, you know, mm. and we, we have a lot of yarn here. <laughs> we have a ton we of yarn a here. Lot. And, you know, even in Fennel Garn, I had like five different suggestions for, you know, the first four colors were easy. We were yeah. totally in agreement on it. to find that last color. But I did eventually find something that she liked a lot. Excellent. And it was one of those things where it was the unexpected thing. It was fiddle barn, but we got um, felt a tweed. Oh, I felt a tweed to go good there. idea. Yeah, so those totally would go together well. well. Sometimes, and also the fact that th that color, which is kind of the pop color in the piece, is a little bit different, makes it pop even more. Yeah. Even better. So be this good. is why I love to do that. This it's is so fun. fun. Yeah. And I always do hope that people will send us pictures. When, Absolutely. Especially when, you know, we, we spend a lot of time working on getting these colors yeah. together and getting something that people are going to be really happy with. Yeah. So that's always fun to do. Yeah. So, like, definitely, like, come in or email or email whatever. Call. But yeah. also, like, don't forget to follow. If you don't already follow Nitty Natty, which I'm sure if you're following us, you're probably do. Yeah, but like if you don't, like, go check her out her. because she's she's lovely, a she's, delight, she's and she's on got my lots subscription of subscription list. I absolutely, every time I'm, absolutely. Love I'm actually them. behind two podcasts. Sweetheart. I need I need podcasts, podcasts, podcasts. I need See, to. it's like rubbing up because I can't talk. <laughs> Is that not being able to talk thing? I know, but um, yeah, I need to catch up, and maybe Haley and I will do a, like a little you know yeah. watch along thing mm -hmm. together at some point. So when does voting? St do we know yet when voting? We starts? don't have the exact date. Okay, but so keep we keep an eye. Keep out. an eye on our Instagram, on her Instagram, yeah. um, we'll yeah. probably have voting open for a week, and then um, you know can we'll help have might be able to do a post to YouTube. You know oh, how you do a post yeah. to YouTube? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or like a, a we, short or something. Not even. I think you can do posts okay. to YouTube. Okay. Cool. I've seen Arne and Carlos do it. Okay. Oh, I don't know how to do that. that. We'll figure but, it out. We'll have to look into it. Yeah, that. and then it'll yeah. show up in your subscriptions. Mm -hmm. That would be that would be yeah, useful perfect. too. We'll try to get the word out, but just in case. Yeah, just definitely. Be sure to should. like and subscribe. I think subscribing is key if you want to get those absolutely mm -hmm. information and looking for yeah, yeah. the notifications. Um, so we have we still have we still have some new in store to go. Through, oh, we have right? new in store, and there was something else we were going to talk <gasps> the about. The prize, I know. the prize. Yes, the, the prize. winner from last time. So um, last time we asked. Um, what Katrinkles you would like to see us stock. And, um, we got great suggestions. We got some really good suggestions. And definitely, I will say... Kathleen has a whole spreadsheet. You know, when, when the going gets rough, you make a spreadsheet, right? right. <laughs> that when, is a good when, life rule. When you really want to know what people are saying. Right. So the Organized top, data. The top uh, choices, definitely the counting stitch markers. And yes. actually, that was a big favorite at Knit Night. We will be restocking those. For sure. Um, the mending bundle or darning loom. Oh, I know. Yeah, that's I got that before. for Beth for her birthday yeah, last so year. We'll yes. definitely have to get those. Faux suede tags were extremely popular also. And I put those on my parents' sweaters before I sent them cool. home. Cool, yep. yeah. And there's a couple of types of those. There's one that's like, you know, made with love, and there's yes. the other with the washing instructions. So yeah. we'll stock both of those. Yeah, we'll stock both of those. I love those. And then um, 
basically, uh, and some of the other ones were ones that we already carry. So yeah, that's true. <laughs> we we do carry the the so wipeable. We'll restock. And well, some of them we even still have. Oh yeah, yeah. But we'll we'll carry. We do carry the wipeable tags. We carry a lot of mini tools. I love the wipeable tags. We have I have, um, we have gauge rulers. Mm-hmm. I put those you know, on my bag gauges. so that yeah. well, I remember you, what's uh, in the bag. Right. You don't have to dig through. Yeah. So you can be like dad's sweater. Yeah. Yep. And actually, um, that is for, thankfully not on any bag. Yeah. yeah. For those in New Jersey, um, you get to wipe it off. <laughs> for for wool walk, we again are doing katrinkles, stitch markers, and so um, there's going to be a little gauge ruler. That you can put on your bag as the like. This year I don't have a format fold, fold, and it's not That's right. quite totally center mid pandemic. We don't go out. <laughs> yeah. The yeah. House. Maybe I can get some more stitch markers in my collection this year. Yeah. Now we're yeah. in season we're... three of the pandemic. <laughs> season three. <laughs> season, season three. three. Hopefully uh, the series finale. Hopefully. 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 Crash your fingers. So, <laughs> so so so. One of the other things we did with the spreadsheet. Um, is we drew our winner, and our winner is Lynn K. Yay, Lynn! Congratulations, Lynn. So you win twenty five dollars worth of trinkles Yay! of your choice from Yarnia. That's so awesome. So you can take a look at what we have right now. You might want to wait until we do this order. You know, by the time we place the order and get it in stock and everything, it'll probably be three four weeks from now. Yeah. yeah. So you know, whatever, um, what whichever of whatever those works better right. for you, exactly. Yeah. Or you can. Tell us what you want now. We can put some stuff aside and you can add something else to it. That's so, great. So, yeah. so yeah. what's our giveaway for this podcast? So our giveaway for this one is one of our new in-store items. Yes. It's Excuse a good me. transition. Yes. We flow right in oh, as we distract ourselves. <laughs> um, shiny objects. So we have I I love love these. These. Nano so Sopados. They're so gorgeous. And actually, Manos oh, has goodness. had these for a while, but we decided the last time we met with our rep for Manos... They just seem like something that, who we love, Antonia. Um, There was something that we thought would really be fun. So, um, as a lot of folks do, we kitted them because they had these adorable little boxes. Who doesn't love a cute little box of something? This would be a great gift for another knitter, right? It would be so good. Smack a bow on it. So we've got sunny days and stormy skies. Oh, and this reminds me of Sesame Street when you sent me the thing. <laughs> sunny days. Yes, yes. So um, they're forty-five dollars for the set, and for now we're we're going to sell them as sets. We're going to see how they do. Um, so yeah. they are worse. Wait, this they, Allegri- they are Allegria Grande. Yeah, Allegria Grande, right there. Yeah, Allegria, Allegria Grande, Grande mini skeins. Yeah. Essentially, so this exactly. would make how cute would like a little stripey oh. hat. Oh, I'll <gasps> put some pictures and in. There, there are great hats. patterns. Yeah, there are great patterns go with that, these that are so, like slip stitch patterns. Yeah, yes. And also there and is mix. a there's a sweater that yeah. they have where you use the Allegri Grande for the body and this for the color work. Uh, I think that was originally what they did so them fun. for. Yeah. yeah. So, so I'll yeah, put some pictures hats, there's mitts, in there's, here of yeah. like what that looks like with their patterns that they've designed for these. Mm-hmm. I think mm-hmm. you'll. Really enjoy them. Yes, we uh, saw them. We saw these at TNA yeah. the last time, and it was the last like last TNA. Mm-hmm. Sad face, but I love these collars, and I love Allegria Grande. It's such a great. Oh, I love this. Such yarn. a great yarn. So, Stacia was wearing our store sample of it the other day just to be cozy. Yeah, it's such yeah. a nice yarn. Yeah. So, if you would like a shot to win your choice of one, right? You know, we we actually we often come up with a question during the episode, but we have not. I have. But I oh, I have an oh, idea. Go 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 go. <laughs> What's your dog's name? Because I kept saying my dog. That's a her great dog's one. Her dog's name is Pippa. Her dog's name is Pippa. <laughs> if you don't, about Gatsby too. if you don't have a dog. Or a cat. Or a cat. You could say your cat's name. You could say your cat's name. You could say, what what is a good pet's name? What is your favorite pet's name? Even if you hate all animals. (laughs) Who could hate all animals? I don't know. Some people. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's a difference between not wanting them in your house. That's Mm -hmm. true. Mm -hmm. And hate. (laughs) Hopefully nobody hates. But, like, maybe maybe you're allergic. Maybe you're allergic. Maybe you're maybe you're a lot of experience with that. So, give... Throw a pet's name down below, and then yeah, you either your win. pet. And can, I wish people could post pictures. Can they post pictures in their comments? No, I don't think so. Don't That's think so. a shame. That would be so fun. That would see be so pictures fun. Of Maybe your we'll pets. start. If you want to be entered in the prize drawing, post it below. But maybe we can start a ravelry thread. Yeah, yes. exactly. And throw the show picture of your pet. Show, show us your pet. pet. <laughs> but anyway, I thought that would be I fun because I definitely think this episode guys. name should be your dog's name is Pippa. Dog's name is Pippa. So. Um, it's yeah. really gonna drive me crazy. So I'm gonna go through my contacts list, and I'm like, <laughs> I like 
Her dog. You're a good friend of mine. Oh my goodness. This packaging <laughs> is so cute. Like it's all so little, sweet. Yeah, it's really fun. It's got little kettles sweaters. and little oh, house goodness. shoes on. So, and these what? are, I think they're 49 yards. Uh, it's on the tag. If we open it up, we can see it on one of the yeah. tags. I yeah. mean, it's it's basically like... It's like a quarter of a skein of Alegria. So, all together, it's like a skein of right, right, yeah. This is Juanita, and she is 50 yards. Mm -hmm. Her 25 gram skein. So, mm -hmm. this is one. Yeah, these are 197 yards. Five. Yeah, yeah so, so it's a, a quarter of a skein. Yeah. A skein and a quarter. Mm -hmm. So, this is 125 grams. Mm -hmm. As a set, so mm -hmm. like this would make adorable mitts, adorable hats. Well, yeah, adorable especially if you want to do something work. in um, in uh, worsted, multiple colors. Exactly. Like, it's so instead so of buying more five skeins of five if you want to make Amanda's love bag. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. That would be so ah, cute. You could cute. actually get one white and then do the stripe. <gasps> one white, and you could have. This is why you need a grown-up love bug. <laughs> So, so I can yeah. have one. So grab, grab one skein of, you know, also yeah. anything, if you want to make hats, if you grab one skein of your mm -hmm. main collar, you could make a couple of hats easily, maybe even three. These are really, so when you, you think about this, Prosecco this would be, <gasps> yeah. you could totally do Prosecco in you this. You could do like a five color Prosecco. You could do a five color. I'm oh sure we gosh, have this in natural. You could do like a, a gradient. Sunny days. <laughs> I know that's not going to go out of your head. <laughs> now, yep, I'm your worm too. All right, so this is, these are our new in store. So if you do not happen to win the giveaway, you can come in and mm -hmm. pick Got them it. up. Or get them on our website. Or get them on our website. And then also we have one more new in store, the uh, oh, yes. Ba La Which we, Hoya. we did a little peek of before. We did a little sneak peek it's our of February, February color. Too. I love this. It's so Valentine's-y. It a, is. And it's like, it's a good... It's a sweet Valentine's. It's a sweet pick, but it's not... No, I tell you, it's not too bad. Yeah, yeah, it's like nice. this is a very, uh, you it's know, a what? subtle pink. It's, it's the you know, gray and the white. It definitely yeah. skews it sophisticated. Yeah, mm -hmm. and this, Love there's it. very pretty. Is it? It's brown. There's like a brownie. There's, you could totally wear this with like yeah. um, what's like that? What's that espresso color? Oh, like, um, tosh, like cold drip or whatever. Yes, there's or whiskey barrel. Oh, whiskey, whiskey barrel. barrel. Whiskey barrel would yeah, be pretty with this. I do love pink and brown together. Yeah, it's really nice. It's like Neapolitan ice cream. Yeah, I'm exactly. Happy Love with the Apollo. fashion skewing warm with the browns and the beige. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, definitely. I know. I know Montclair's a great I'm town. Cool. <laughs> but I I'm like cool the browns color. and the khakis yeah. and I know. Cool. My camel coat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll I can't those. wear camel. It looks like I'm It looks like I'm all one color. <laughs> All right. Hi, y'all, pale skin. So, yeah. I'll so, probably do all right. Tell us your pet's name. Tell us if you want to tell us about your pet, we'd love to hear. Yes. Yeah, totally. <laughs> and so, we'll put pictures Oh, and oh my God. Name. Again, we didn't do it, but we can't do it now because what? we've already been talking for like two hours. Yeah, we can't. Five what? years ago this month was when we came up with the idea for Yarnia. Yes. So, in the next episode, we will tell you. It'll be February. Yeah, February. It will. So, it still will be yes. five years ago this month. Yes. So, but. <laughs> And I did write it down, but not big enough, obviously. Okay. So well, we'll write we it down talked first. a lot. We talked. We a lot. did. We talked a lot. So uh, thanks so for watching. As I got always. to stay the whole time. Yay! Yes, I know, right? No conference call today. Yay! Happy, happy staying the whole time, Amanda. Yay! Yay. Yeah. So thank you guys for watching. Remember thanks for watching. To, thanks for commenting. Yes. Remember to like and subscribe. Uh, don't forget to comment a pet's name down below to win your chance at the Bocados. Mm -hmm. um, click the little alarm bell so mm -hmm. you get notifications when we do videos. Check Follow out. Follow us also on Instagram and Facebook. So you can both shop Yarnia mm -hmm. at both of those. Mm -hmm. And we're Ravelry Shop Yarnia. And mm -hmm. don't forget to scroll back. And if you haven't already, watch the January 1 interviews. Yes. Yeah. Watch those Check videos. They're so fun. Yeah. Um, I had such a great time with her. She's such a doll. She's so yeah. lovely. Yeah, I like her a lot. Um, and yeah, what else? I Anything think else? It. I think that's about it. Thanks for watching, guys. And if we figure out Pippa's mom's name, we'll let you know. Kristen! <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Just under the wire. Just under the wire. It only took me three hours. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Oh, my God. So, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye! Bye! Bye. Hello, my name is Abby, and I'm currently making a hat for my brother. You have to hold, um, can you hold it up? For Valentine's Day. I'm going to show you the better side. <laughs> um, so I'm making a hat for my brother. It is called the Vermont by Abby Groger. 
Um, I'm currently working on the full knit, like all knitting. I finished the knits and pearls and then tomorrow I'm doing um, the deep creases. Yeah, this is the first time you ever purled? Yep. How's that going? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but look at that. It's going well. Look at this. Why do you have all those stitch markers on your head? Uh, because in the beginning when I was doing the pearls, I kept on going like this. And I would go back and forth, back and forth. So my mom was like, you're going to put um, stitch markers in it. To always tell you which side the outside is. Mm -hmm. Good plan. Good technique. 